Hello, my name is Manisha Lat Gupta and I'm the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. Under this project, I not only grow all my food in my permaculture gardens, but also have built a sustainable house using natural materials like earth, stone and lime. One of the key things in building a sustainable house is not only to build a house with materials that are sustainable, but also to manage the construction process in such a fashion that you don't pollute the immediate environment around you or pollute some other environment far away from you. What do I mean by that? When we build anything these days, there is a lot of waste involved in it. You know, there is concrete waste, there's packaging material, uh, there is some broken stone, broken bricks, a lot of things which litter the construction site. And as the project draws to a close, there is a pressure on us to clean up the area and get rid of all this material. Typically, what do we do? We bring in a truck, we put everything into it, and we ask the guy to go dump it somewhere. That can be dumped either in a dump yard, in a landfill, or sometimes in perfectly good land when nobody's watching. At least that's what happens in India. For us, managing our waste was a key part of building sustainably because any waste generated in the construction of your house is your responsibility. As the project drew to a close, we found that this area where I'm currently sitting had a pile of waste on it. The waste consisted of broken stone, some broken bricks. Whenever we had mixed either some cement mortar or some lime mortar, there were blobs which had solidified, which were littering this entire place. There was also a lot of packaging waste which came from switches, uh, electrical fittings, plumbing fittings, uh, you know, so many things that came wrapped up in cardboard or in plastic. And we were wondering what to do with all this waste. So we decided that we have to find a way to manage this waste on our site itself. The wall that you see behind me did not exist when we were building this house. It was actually the path from which the trucks used to come right up to the construction site. So when it was time to clean up, what we did was we built that retaining wall and we took all our waste and dumped it behind it. In that process, we raised the level of that land significantly. It became about four or five feet higher than this land. And eventually we topped it up with some good soil and planted our gardens and our walking paths on it. So by just uh, managing our waste creatively and aesthetically, we managed to, you know, uh, keep the waste on the site itself, take responsibility for it, and at the same time created two levels on our land which aesthetically look pretty good. So the next time you are building something, do think about what is the waste that you are generating and what are the possible places where you could stabilize that waste or bury it and how not to be a burden on other people, other parts of the planet. We ourselves are responsible for the waste that we generate. I hope you're finding this series on sustainable architecture and construction interesting. You can watch all the other videos on this sustainable house playlist and it might give you some ideas on how to integrate some sustainable options into your house or office. Thanks for watching and see you again sometime. Bye-bye.